Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to game number two of the SC2, no, the Go For SC2 Cup, number 35. Let's get some income tab going here, nice and pretty. We do have the finals game number two between Nama and Mouse Esports Mana, although I should say it's Team Liquid Nama. And I do think I am saying that right, Nama. Yeah, so this map, ladies and gentlemen, is the infamous Lost Temple. We got two eyes in the middle. So any kind of ground advances, we're going to go right through here. No problem as we do. Where's the entrance? There's your entrance. So entrance coming down here for the red Mr. Mana, who has won game number one. So he is up in the series. I do believe it's a best of five. So you need to win three out of the five. No problem. I mean, Mana is a great player. I assume Nam is a great player. I mean, these tournaments are not small, ladies and gentlemen. These tournaments... Uh, can number in the thousands of players that enter. So you have to bang out a lot of games to get to these finals. Uh, if there's 512 competitors, you know, that's half them every round. That's still in order of eight to nine opponents. You got to go knock off yourself. So good times. So Nama here did lose that first game. He went more that macro build. Let's just take a quick look at production, although I'm not really going to see anything too weird at this point. I mean, it is early game, and there's really not any cheese that this Terran can throw into Mana's favor, I do believe. This gateway coming out, no problem. 14, well, probably came out of the 13, and I mean, looking quickly over here at blue, I mean, they're pretty much mirror images at this time. I mean, they are both going for gas. They're both going for barracks. It's probably going to pump out a few beginning units. It does look like Mana has found Nama now over in this nine o'clock position but anyways game number one mana took it by basically putting out a proxy pylon rushing into the base with a whole bunch of stalkers wiping out half the force reloaded up with a whole bunch more stalkers and then basically just came down with the hammer on top of his tanks so things that we should have probably seen done better is nama get some men uh, that would have definitely helped. So that heavy macro build, not going to cheese it too much with mana. I mean, observers are a great resource for Protoss players. I mean, early game detection, there's virtually none. And the only real way that a Terran is ever going to see that observer is A, he wastes mana um, as he's going for this orbital command on not mules, which would be the orbital command, uh, which would be this one, scanner sweep right there. That, that's one way to see them. If you have, you know, the eyesight to detect those observers coming around, sure, great. Sweep them, scan them, boom, they're done. End of story. Other than that, you got to get a raven, which you won't really see in an early PVT as this is, because simply the raven's not going to do too much. I mean, sure, you can throw down that uh, auto defense drone for those stalkers, for the observers. I don't even think the observers, uh, sorry, for the sentries, but I don't think it would actually work on the sentries. Other than that, hunter seeker missile, not super effective whatsoever. So you're probably not going to see that. And other than that, you got to get missile turrets, which you kind of need an engineering bay for, which is not high on the priority list for a 1-1 build, which we may or wait may not be seeing here. So a good wall win just finishing up here for Nami. He has seen these streaming SCV, uh, zealots, SCVs, <laughs> streaming zealots coming over. So what is Mr. Mana going to do about that? Let's take a quick look at not spending to care about the spending at this point but anyway a nice wall and come in here but I still don't see the 111 coming out and actually I might have to eat my words so a starport coming out nope never mind no starport there I lied he's just playing with my head anyways uh, so uh, things we sure would have liked to see is a 111 build to that starport and banshees would be uh, you know a great harassing tool simply because most of the time protoss like to only pump out one Observer. So here we go. Here's a robo bay. Let's go back to production because production is cool. One robo bay coming with a with a warp gate, uh, and it does look like another few gateways. So going another heavy gateway build, Mr. Mana is, and that's my best Yoda impression you're going to get from me tonight. But we do have another heavy macro build coming out of Nama. So he is going to try to push this early command center, just float it down there, and uh, you know, advantage of the Terran, just float it across, no problem. Don't worry about it. And he's going to do a little bit of scouting, but basically at this point, both teams are kind of content to just sit back and let the money roll 
in. So here comes that observer. But anyways, back to the original point. Protoss will usually only get this one observer. And as you can tell, we're... Woo, it's going all the way over here. And, I mean, that's typically... They'll cut it right there. No problem. So if you get that Banshee, I mean, you do have kind of... Lots of leg there, I suppose. We do we do get a nice kind of advantage because you can just fly in a cloaked banshee woo, 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 all the way up here, start two shotting probes, and then get out. By the time you can either a estimate another observer will come out of here, or b this one's going to come back, and by then you'll know because things are going to start shooting at you. Man, making another observer. Who are you? Why do I try making points? Anyways, so, I mean, but we're not going to see that because we don't even have any, ink there we go, so we do have a starboard, it's really late, but, uh, I mean, we do have one, so, we're taking a quick look at units, we do see a bit more of a massive army, this time on Nama's side, I mean, he does have that bunker, bunkers fully salvageable are great to just <laughs> leapfrog right up into the open there, going with a few tanks, because I do believe he knows Mr. Mana here is not going to go for those star ports and even if he does he has a good complement of marines there we go i kind of missed that but there was a great orbital sweep going down it's not a, called an orbital a scanner sweep sure but it comes from the orbital command sue me but yeah so if you have the eyesight you can see those observers scan it bam done no problem and with two orbital commands i mean you do have that kind of buffer for that energy i mean it is 50 energy to get these mules out and mules provide such a great income bonus like look let's take a quick look at the income actually that's a lie let's look at the we got more probes on the side of mr mana we mean four extra probes coming out but look at the resource difference i mean it's not that much and you can really blame really part of these uh part of it can be related to these mules mules just great great resource control and that is a lot of probes already saturating this no problem. Let's look like some immortals coming out. Let's go back to production. I like production. And we do have a hidden robotics bay, hidden in terms of it's nowhere really that you'd expect. But we don't seem to have any inkling for any mm, Stargates this game. Because I have seen Mr. Amanda do some great harass with phoenixes. Just come right in here and there's a big debate. Phoenixes, Phenai. Anyways, I'll leave that alone. So, yeah, just fly in here, lift a probe, I'm using my hands to gesture here. I just realized that's useless. Nobody can see that. Anyways, bring up the probes, shoot them down, bring up another one, shoot it down, run away, do it again, do it again, do it again. It's just really constantly irritating to your opponents, but at the same time, really good for you because, well, it's all that extra micro you got to do. Oh, SCV war. Nope, not an SCV war. Okay, he's just going to ignore it. Fine. Not even going to send a marine? No? Okay, sure. So heavy, heavy barracks build coming out here, as in we got oh, gonna go three, another one there, another one there. So it looks like we might be in in for a treat, folks. Looks like we might be going a bio ball. Uh, looking at this, we do have the stubber. I did see that cloak coming out. We do have extended thermal lances coming out for Mr. Mana. So it looks like he's gonna go for a dun 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 colossi, and that really colossi is a great counter to the bio ball. I'm not gonna say it's the counter. I'm not going to say it's going to work every time, so you can't come back here and blame me when it doesn't. But at the same time, it does do great splash damage. If you can focus down those medevacs using, I don't know, feedback from Templar, which is also a great counter to uh, met, uh, those bio balls. Uh, you know, focus fire from Stalkers, get some warp, uh, some warp phoenixes, sorry. Let's get something straight here. I've been drinking some rum and cokes. So. Yeah, I'll leave you. I'll leave you at that. Don't judge me. But yeah, so get some great phoenixes in there. Either way, you gotta take out those uh, medevacs. But at this point, we don't actually have any medevacs. We do have a reactor coming out, which you know, I think uh, you can only build Vikings and medevacs. Yep, you can only build Vikings and medevacs. So two at a time, going for a lot. I mean, this is a lot of barracks, guys. Stimpak coming down the line for this. Uh, that's not a tech. Well, that's reactor. So tech lab there, tech lab there, stim packs. Going to be a fun time. So we do have a third expansion coming out. Really, these players haven't uh, really bothered each other. Really, they're kind of just macroing up at this point. I guess game number one being such a quick game that it was, it kind of left them itchy and hungry for more. So let's take a quick look at everything else. APM, yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, looks like we got some banshees going here, looking for a sweet kill on those. Pylon, so he does he does, does get a kill there. Oh, look at that. A service SCV. No problem. I mean, 
the cloaked banshees coming out it's kind of what i wanted to see much earlier when you didn't have as much anti-air i mean this is a lot of anti-air like a whole bunch of stalkers even going sentries for the reduction i need to take a drink because i sense a battle coming but all right so let's take a quick look uh let's get out of that production we do have a lot of bio coming out we got some vikings coming out too i guess he already saw that I mean, Colossi are out on the field, and that, what's the best way to get rid of a Colossi? Some anti-air, because that anti-air, no problem, going to be taking out those Colossi, and they can't fire back whatsoever, considering, I mean, the, that's kind of the weakness of the Colossi. They're so tall that, you know, they're just in the airspace. So look at all this damage, but that is a lot of blue players, and it does look like he's going to at least fend off the, the ensuing carnage now. Let's take a quick look at units lost. Units lost, 35 for red. I don't know how that happened. That did not look like 35 units to me. I know it's 35 food worth. Oh! This is how exactly he's losing 35. Look at Mr. Nama just uh, using great micro there to take out all these probes. 38, 39. Boom! There, but I mean that banshee definitely paid for it. Now look at this decimated, decimated income line so that was a great counter right there I mean look at the difference here 1500 minerals 800 for mr. mana that is huge folks huge 40 to 59 harvester count plus you got the advantage of prove me wrong mules there aren't any mules fine there aren't any mules I guess they just died come on mules throw on mule 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 all right so fun times I mean, just look at these army sizes right now I don't think there's anything that Mr. Mana can do against something like this. I mean, Vikings are a perfect counter to Colossi. How do you get rid of something? Attack them when they can't hit you back. Colossi can only attack around. So these Vikings, great idea. Take out any kind of anti-air you got. What else is going on, folks? We still have... I don't know. Observers are pinging. I don't know why. Ah, so I'll ignore them. Anyways, so you take out the Colossi, you take out any anti-air, you just put them right onto the ground. That's a great thing about these Vikings. Bam, assault mode goes right down, no problem. And then you can just start whamming on whatever else is left. So, now that Mana knows exactly what's coming out, which is indeed not exactly the bio ball I was kind of hoping to see. It is very Marauder heavy and very Siege Tank heavy, but at the same time, you're pumping out at least... Oh, okay, well, here's some medivacs, but at least two Vikings at a time, and really, one factory is all he needs. I mean, the, the, the siege tanks are not really the core of this this army. It is more the combo of Viking Marauder, and, I mean, Marauder's concussive shells, if they, find, if they latch onto you, you're not getting away. No, no, you're not. So... Fun times. Yeah, so income is probably normalized a bit more. Actually, it looks like we're having some issues here for Mr. Nama. But look at these mules. So great on these rich mineral fields. So he decided to do a third expansion into a rich mineral, rich mineral area. These gateways going down is definitely going to help boost uh, the production. This is uh, quite, the, quite the army size. Let's look at army. Army is definitely overwhelmingly in the Terran favor. I mean, at 185, 142, but at the same time, I mean, Protoss pack a punch. We don't have any upgrades yet. We do have one level of upgrades there on our trusty Marauders, who did end up getting for those stim packs. And look at this, a nice drop into the backside of this base. Can we take out this Templar Archives before the Kadaran amulet can go down? That is really going to hurt. Uh, and, uh, wow, looks like he's even going to grab it before the research of the blink can get down. This is critical, folks. Without that Kadaran amulet and without that blink, I mean, this army just became a whole lot more vulnerable. So, I kind of... Look at this. Production. Nothing. Nothing. We had a mobile. Fine. Whatever. Nothing. Red. Nothing. Income. Uh, yeah, these mules are definitely going to town on these high mineral resources. And look at that bonus like 800,000 spiking up, 1,200 gold a minute over mana. I mean, I really do think that taking this game to the depths that it has gone, I mean, we are sitting at a macro. Uh, here's another drop coming in. No, oh, that's going to hurt those probes. Like, these these marauders no, are just no problem going to be cleaning these guys up. So now's the time to strike, folks. Uh, I mean, while he's distracted, now's the time to strike. These colossi are going to try to make short work, but... I mean, at the same time, these Vikings are very devastating. It looks like they were able to clean up.